class, we have a new student with us today, so I'd like to start our lesson by reviewing some of the self-defense basics. Now, you should know right off the bat that some of my self-defense techniques are considered extreme. Eh, extreme? It's not as bad as it sounds. Let me demonstrate. If an attacker comes at you head on, make like you're about to attack me. First, grab their wrist with your dominant hand, then their elbow with your other hand, then drop quickly to your knees and beg him not to hurt you. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, oh no. Please, I have so much to live for. <laughs> Always remember, firmly establishing that you are not a threat neutralizes the attacker. That can't work in the real world. It does. Here, I'll show you another technique. Put me in a headlock. If an attacker gets you in a headlock, just take your free hand and reach it way back like this. Remove your phone from your pocket and show him pictures of your family. Do not shy away from bringing your kids into this. It's hard to assault someone when you're staring at the innocent faces of many versions of them. Shouldn't you be teaching us how to throw around someone who's twice our size? I do teach that. It's a technique where you grab someone by the arms, pull them behind their back so they can't move, and then toss them at your attacker. Toss them at the attacker? Who are you tossing? Uh, it could be anyone, a wife, a friend, a co-worker, whoever's next to you when you get attacked. It's called diversion. And, of course, the mother of all self-defense techniques, crying. Yeah, I didn't sign up to learn how to cry. There's no way any of this would work in real life. I'm out of here. Are you guys done with the room? It's 4.15 and you were supposed to be done by 4 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine. I don't think we'll be seeing him again. I can still see him through the window. <gasps> Shut off the lights! Want more right now, Kapow? You can catch full episodes right now on Disney XD on the app or on demand. <sighs> I think I lost it.